Good afternoon and welcome to today's Grace Minute. Um, I pray that you all are having a wonderful day. Happy Friday, everyone. Sunny Friday here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, but I'm glad that you all jumped on. Uh, today's Grace Minute is entitled, Do Not Fall Prey to Satan. Um, you know, even right before I started to do Grace Minute, um, I even got a phone call that tried to throw me off course. We have to be careful um, not to allow ourselves um, to fall prey to Satan. Even, you know, you think about it, just something as simple as leaving out the, the door in the morning and missing our praise and worship, um, missing devotional, daily devotional, um, not, not getting that time before leaving to read and just, you know, pray and get under the word. You are already under attack as a believer. Satan is ready. He's out there um, in first Peter chapter five, verse eight. Um, and I'll read from the new international version. It says, be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Um, in verse nine, it says, resist him standing firm in the faith because you know that because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of suffering. So he's looking for ones that he can get off course. You know, he's not going to make anything easy. Um, he's looking to ruffle your feathers. He's looking to um, use someone to call you and say something to you that he knows that is going to get under your skin. That's going to make you uh, upset. That's going to make you angry. It's going to make you question and may even make you question your faith. But you cannot fall under his tactics. You cannot allow him to throw you off course because the moment that he can get you off course, the moment that he can get under your skin, then he knows that he can go ahead and, you know, tell you and feed you more that's going to cause you uh, to question your faith or uh, doubt what you've read in scripture. So I, I just want to encourage you this weekend, today, um, even if this has happened to you today, <clears throat> follow up, read your word. Um, if you need to call another uh, believer and allow them to minister to you, because that may be what's needed. You know, just someone to encourage you. Hey, you know who you are in Christ. You know that you are OK. Don't fall for Satan's tactics because that's all that's needed. He just needs to be called out. So he can he can go back to where he needs to be. Um, so just I just want to encourage you this weekend. Um, don't allow yourself to fall sub to fall prey to Satan. Um, and in James four, seven, it says he will and he'll flee from you. So resist him and he will flee from you. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Uh, thank you for jumping on and joining joining me, myself, my husband this week. Um, and we look forward to seeing you guys on Monday at 3 o'clock p.m. And don't forget to tune in on Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. for Sunday morning worship service. And on Saturday and Sunday um, at 9 o'clock a.m. for corporate prayer. Thank you, guys. And see you Monday. Bye-bye.